Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and in, in this episode I'll be showing you how to install my VCO with the voltage feed point modification and the FM audio modification. Now this is mainly for the Multimode 2, Jumbo 1, Concorde 1, Major 588 and boards that use the 059 um, Cybernet chassis. So let's get started. So first off we need to remove the VCO from the radio. This is the original VCO, so this needs to come out. So you may see something like this. You may see a capacitor across the back and the various points we need to desolder. So using your soldering iron, firstly we need to take this capacitor away. So this capacitor can be discarded as the VCO already has one built on the board. So with your favourite desoldering tool, whether it be desolder braid, solder pump or an electronic one like this, desolder the points that hold the VCO into the radio. Make sure all the solder is gone. And then the VCO can be wiggled out. If it doesn't come out, check your desoldering, make sure all the pins are free and the VCO should just come out just like that. So this VCO has got two extra wires on it, one for the voltage feed point and one for the FM audio modification. So this VCO block has got the components for the FM audio mod. Thanks to Dave Cubwolf for these. So firstly, we're going to install the VCO into the radio. So observing the correct pin orientation, the VCO should just drop into the radio like that. And then solder it into place. Once it's soldered into place, trim off any excess legs. So firstly we need to connect the red wire. So we'll feed that through to the other side of the circuit board and we're going to connect to the AVR of the radio. So on this, on this multi-mode 2, the AVR is Q44. So we're just going to do some voltage measurements, make sure we've got the correct pins. So with our multimeter, that's 10 volts, so that's the base. 13 volts, that's the collector. 9.44 that's the emitter so that's the point we need to solder our red wire to which is there and that's our AVR connected so at this point we can test the VCO. Now this VCO does come actually pre-tested, so it should just work straight away. But connect your multimeter to the test point of the radio and check the VCO lock voltage across all your bands. And if necessary, adjust with a non-inductive tool. So the next part now is the FM audio modification. Thanks to Dave Cubwell for these. So we start off, we need to remove these two components, which is L3 and C30. Which is these points on the board. So using the soldering tool. OK, 
carefully desolder them. And then remove them from the component side of the board. These can, these can be discarded as we don't need them anymore. The next component we need to change is this capacitor, which is C32. So this needs to be removed. Which is located here. So we'll take away this capacitor and we need to replace it with a 104 capacitor which is a 100,000 picofarad. So we'll put this capacitor in where we've just removed C32 from. There's no polarity on this as it's a ceramic. And then we'll solder it into place. and trim off any extra leg that is showing. Now the next thing we do is we need to link out R26. Now our, the other end of R26 just goes to ground. So the simplest way for this is just scratch off a little bit of this trace and just put a solder bridge across. Then that's R26 effectively linked out. You could actually remove it and put a wire link into place, but there's no point when this is nice and easy. There, done. So the white wire now needs to go to the junction of where we, re we have removed L3 and C30. So that's on the R25 side. So we'll just trim the white wire down to size. I do leave extra wire on. But it goes down to that point there, which connects directly to R25 on the underside of the board. So we'll poke the wire through the board. Making sure that this is on the R25 side of this. Which you'll see. That pad connects to R25. And there's the wire. So we'll solder it into place. Tidy up the desoldered holes. Now using RV3, adjust, one, two, one, two. One, two, three. adjust one, the deviation. Two. And there, that's how to install and modify your Multimode 2 or similar for the Feedpoint mod and FM audio modification. Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in another video.